Oh, flashlight. Hey, look what I found. Smile. <laughs> okay. How's it going, everybody? Hoodlumut here with an episodic horror, Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. And this is maybe the fifth and final episode, at least from my understanding. Uh, it only said that there were five that he had projecting in these, so let me just see really quick. Yeah, see, it says this is the last one. Which is really sad because, man, I have loved the Fears to Fathom series. I hope that uh, Rail or Ray 2, whatever his name is, uh, will do more of them because, uh, man, I love this series, but I'm so excited to do this. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I gotta get it. I gotta play it. That very night, I knew I had to. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to get into this. But as always, if you have a story to share... Send it at fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. And with that, let's just get into this, shall we? Fears to Fathom, Episode 5 Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Oh, it's got a cutscene! Needed coffee to get done with the day. Okay. Oh, it's not just a cutscene. Okay, wait, uh, space. Oh, it's a cubicle. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Hey, look, they got buses and cars, people walking down there. Wow. That's cool. Wow, them buses still turn on, like, a 90-degree angle. Look at that. Dang. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we have to go to the uh, break room to get ourselves a coffee. Wow, I feel like I walk really slow. Can I walk any oh, a little bit faster? Oh, this is nice. Hey, a fizz. What do they got down here? Fizz? A red... Wait, can I duck? Can I... Yeah, there we go. A red cola? A doctor fizz? A prep? <laughs> Prepsy? Doctor, yes. Zinger, energy bowl, and mountain pew, I think is what that says. Wow. Is there someone typing? Uh. Hello? Oh. Yeah, you are. What's up? Hello? Can I. Oh, hey. What do you want, Sid? Oh, we're Sid? Okay. I'm trying to get this done. Uh, I was just checking if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? Still working on that report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Poor guy. Um... I guess we'll leave him to that, then. Poor dude is a wage slave, just wants to go home. He can't ever leave. Can I go in here? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay, there, there's more to do. I guess we'll get our coffee first. Don't want to go out of line here. Let's see, we got chips? Oh! Oh, I can just have chips. Jeez! Gosh dang, those are some loud chips. Um, let's see, I need coffee, right? So that's not going to be in here. Um, yeah, so... Oh, right here, yeah. So take one of these little bad boys. Pop him in there. And then put the little coffee cup up there. It needed water, okay. Yeah, give me that sweet, sweet water. Perfect. Boink! Ah... Perfect. I swear, if he jump scares me when I turn around with my coffee, I'm spilling it all on his face, dude. I need to put a lid on it. Oh, um, where? Oh, right there. I'm spilling it all over you. Mmm, delicious. Don't be there. Okay. Sip. 
I'm waiting for him to like speed around the corner. I needed to use the restroom. All right, I guess I'll take my coffee to the restroom with me, even though that's kind of grody, but whatever. Shut the door behind me. All right. Good coffee. Oh, I was done with it. Okay, well, um, and eh, the boss never has to know, right? Just throw it over there. Men's, okay. Hello, can I, op okay. Um, oh, am I a woman? Sid the woman? Okay, I'm Sid the woman, okay. Or, yeah, he called me Sid, right? Okay, I guess I'm Sid. Oh, probably Sidney. Oh, there's going to be someone in here. They're going to burst out of here. I can feel it. Just get it over with. There's a can in there. Just get it over with. No? Okay. That's fine. Open up. Drink? Why would I ever drink this? No, get this out of here. Um, Can I put it in? No. Okay. Well, that's a janitor's job, man. I guess I'll just use the potty real quick. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's got a, it's got a. Hello? Oh, is that a guy? Oh, it's a janitor. Um. Don't jump scare me. Someone's in here. Ha 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 ha. I'm letting you know very loudly. Get the frick out. Where are you? You're going to try and jump scare me. You're not going to have it. Ah! I knew it. I knew you'd be there. And you still got me a little bit. I called that crap. After five games, Ray, you can't get me. Even though you did still get me a little bit because it was so loud. Made me jump a little bit, but I was ready for it. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. No, it's okay this time. This time it's okay. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Okay, so we are a girl. We're Sydney. That's got to be what it is. Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. <laughs> Oops. Uh, is that me? Uh, well, that's really rude. <laughs> well, I, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Dude, that hyper-realistic face is kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Have a good night. <laughs> Dang, he went all out on them faces this time. It doesn't look as PS1 as it used to. Actually, this whole place doesn't look as PS1 as it usually does. Ew. Dang. I knew he was going to jump scare me too. Excuse you? What the frick happened to your manners? What about ladies first? Hello? Gosh. Can I get out of here? Oh, this way. And I threw that can down there, too. Shh, don't tell him. He has it hard enough as it is. Alright, that jump scare, that was predictable. I... Okay, hold on. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry. Hello? Oh, oh. Um. Hello? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Oh, yeah, I forgot he does voice acting sometimes now. Okay. Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Um. My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh no it, it it even cut out on a client earlier <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> um 
<laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, work has been overwhelming lately. Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. <laughs> um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey. Yeah? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. <laughs> I don't even get to respond. You know, save on gas. Oh. We live the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. <laughs> little Mike and Sydney time, yeah? Uh, sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Under $100, okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> I could just hang up. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I really should make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Yeah, freaking yapping. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right. Bye, Mike. What a creep. All right, um... Can I... How do I... Do I do it on here? Make the booking? Oh my gosh, my eyes. Can I... Can I make the booking on here? Um... I don't... Um... Oh, Type Invader. Wait, what's that? Oh! It's another game within the game. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I actually am typing. Oh, this is crazy! Oh! 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 My gosh! Got him. Freaking nail him, dude. This is cool. Boy moment! One. Mouth. Head. Strange! Oh my gosh. I had a misstep there. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Oh. Oh, occur. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm not the fastest typer in the world. Uh, okay, there we go. Whew. Still have all my HP so far. Represent. Catch. Oh my gosh! Where trouble light similar to me? Oh, okay, I'm hurt. Began glad. Suggest. View, hole, ground, row! Oh, okay, there we go. My gosh. That's hard. Because they're not like, it's like a string of words instead of like actual sentences. Okay. And hey, that wasn't bad. Wait, I bet I can do it perfect. Let me try it again. I swear it's going to get a little rough. Um, what the... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, it still gave me that. I don't know why. He doesn't hurt me right there at the end. Do I get an achievement? Or do I have to get accuracy too? Okay, beat, beat that with 70 plus health. Okay. What if I get it with accuracy? Let's try it one more time. Oh, this sword's gonna get rough. Okay. No! Oh, come on. No! Oh. No! Oh, come on. No! I thought that's its settlement! Oh, no. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Oh, it was a fake guy. I win. I couldn't do it quick enough, but I still win. 
and I didn't get anything for it. Cool. All right, we're done with that. But it's on record. I have it recorded, I guess. I spent way too much time doing that. Okay. How do I... Where do I... Where, where am I doing this at? Is it on the computer, or... Where else do I book? Where do I do that at? Is it... Because, like, do I have to... Wait, is it, is it, like, booking? Did he tell me the place to go? Do I maybe... I hit... Get up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Is it, like, um... Do I... I don't have to put nothing in, do I? Or can I... Feel unluck feeling unlucky. I can't click that. Um... Oh! Rent, rent a cabin. Okay, there we go. Search. I didn't even type any of that in. <laughs> it just went in. Where are you going? Woodbury. Or search, whoops. 350 a night? Um, no, I need it cheaper than that. He said under 100. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that one. What if I did, uh... I mean, this place is kind of nice. Ah, uh, it was over our budget. Of course it was. And there's nothing else, huh? Okay. What are the reviews? Can I look at the reviews? It's got Wi-Fi. That's pretty good. I mean, if it's got Wi-Fi, I mean, that, that's that's all we need. Hangers? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> what do some of these places have? Uh, hangers is kind of goofy. Security cameras. That would have been nice. Okay. Guess we're booking this one. Oh. Oh, yeah. What are the reviews? Can I see the reviews? I really would like to see the reviews, but okay. Great. Print that out for me. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sidney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Okay. Ew. Hi. Can I help you? What are you playing on? Is that a PSP? I... Oh. Um. How do I answer that? I don't... I wanted to talk to him, but how do I answer? I I, di I didn't know how to answer that. Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? I forgot my suitcase in the elevator first. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to talk to that guy. He was just kind of staring at me. Hey, wait, come back. I wanted to say hi real quick. Oh, hey, uh, just chill one second. One sec. Oh. Okay, no, he's he's leaving. He's just gone. I wanted to say what was up, but uh All right, hey Mike. How's it going? Harp. Hug. You look like Jack's films, dude. Uh That's still how you hug people? Uh Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Ew. Bro. <laughs> Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. 
Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Okay, this guy. Uh, all right. Ha 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 ha. You do. You straight up look like Jack's films, dude. You look good. Uh, thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Okay. Yay! Oh, well, frick. I said yay. There we go. Alright then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. Okay. Oh, he just jumped right into the truck. He teleported into it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That was weird. 4.26 p.m. Ah, what the frick? What is that? It was starting to snow. Uh, can I hit that? This was actually a gift from my co-worker, Ricky. Oh, okay. Said he found it at a garage sale, and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yes. This truck's kind of rickety, man. You put shocks in this thing. Oh, yeah? Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now we are here. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Uh, speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. Rick Wilson. Oh, okay. Um, it's pretty cutting-edge stuff. Wait, I want it! Okay. It sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do- What the frick? What- What the frick? School bus! Did you see that school bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning in, uh, turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Uh, yeah. I, okay, school bus. That's. I don't really know why that was such a. Oh, oh, oh! Get out of the way, dumb deer. Oh snap! That was close. You know, <laughs> I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Yeah? What's the universe telling you? That you're kind of weird and awkward? Because that's what I'm thinking, man. Maybe I'm the universe. I don't see why a school bus was weird, though. I feel like it's just, you know, it's just a school bus. Could have just been a run-down school bus, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Yeah, I guess. Kinda. Can I check my text? Oh! It's kind of beautiful. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. I just wanted to check my text, but... Oh, another one? I wanted to read them all. 5.14 p.m. Dairy Mart. 
Oh, he's gonna have to get gas. They always have to stop and get gas. Yo, Harp, check that out. Check what out. What is that? Moe's Pizza? Oh, Moe's Pizza? Yo, pizza sounds good right now, actually. Is this like a place we used to go all the time? You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Really? Because my GPS, my newer one, sucks. Versus the old one I used to have. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. This guy's such a freaking nerd. What a dweeb. Hold on, I wanted to read the messages I got. Okay. Hi, Sydney. Thank you for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Oh, oh thanks, Rick. What? What are you waiting for? I'm reading my text. I... Okay. Cheese, veggie. Oh, they don't have salami or barbecue chicken. They have mushroom, though. I like mushroom. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. You'll never find better prices anywhere. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Uh-huh. Residents are recommended to Why is it a cartoon? <laughs> keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold. Is that queso? I can't feel my hands. Okay. Like, uh, the studio should have really That sounds like queso. Instead of buying that new coffee machine. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the That studio. sounds like queso. Is you that queso? You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like oh, I know that voice too, day. but I can't tell who he is. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. I think that's queso. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? <laughs> I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll <laughs> report once you get that rhinoplasty. rhinoplasty. Dude, I think that's queso. Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. <laughs> I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. Ooh. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare Dang. you? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my okay? You didn't do How about I come by the <laughs> studio and we settle this like men? Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break. That's queso. I know that that Are accent that he's got. And oh my gosh, that's crazy. He got queso. Is your 9 to 5 stressing you out? Take a yes. vacation with rentacabin.com. Yeah, I use that. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing oh. views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Wow. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they're also safe, with each cabin having a designated oh, yeah? caretaker to ensure that the stay is top notch. <laughs> Jimmy! We have many options oh, to yeah. choose Jimmy from, looked real including pet-friendly, alcohol-friendly, family-sized, <laughs> underground, and many more. Underground? So if you need a vacation and want it cheap, the visit rentacabin.com and enjoy the stay of a lifetime. I think you're trying to bury me. Oh my gosh, there's so many channels! <laughs> You can beat me, but you can never beat the taste of UFO burgers. <laughs> Put an end to meals from cheap food stalls. A secret recipe that has been passed down for 6,000 years. Travel Whoa. from the Gur 2 galaxy to the Gur 4 galaxy. Whoa. <laughs> the best beef source in the most unconventional way. In what way? That's the sweet secret <laughs> of the establishment. Galactic buns are compressed in a special galactic press powered by dark matter. The temperature inside. This is probably a, someone else too that that I should know, but. Since my cows disappeared, I take care of my sorrows with burgers. I haven't eaten anything this delicious in a long time. Petrine, I miss you. Come home. I promise to sow more grass. Come and see for yourself. Burgers so delicious, your eyes will pop out of your orbit. That's awesome. Whoa. There's so many shows on the TV. Oh, what the? My dude got them walks, dude. Got them steppers. 
What is this? Oh, look, you got you got them steps, man. Whoa! Whoa! What the frick? Whoa! Ooh! What the? Oh my gosh! Oh, is that it? Oh my gosh! There's still more. Hey, hey, hey! Here's the fathom! I may have been a bit vague, but okay, if you want, well, this morning's coffee, that's counted as one of those moments. Uh -huh. No, we're not gonna penalize you for that, of course. But it's mainly for you that I'm doing this. I mean, look at Tina, for example. She's going through a tough time Ooh. right now, but she makes the effort to come to the coffee breaks, and she participates. And I can see that it's doing her uh good. Uh -huh. What the frick? Good report in the office is essential for achieving good results. And it's proven that employees who get along well work better together. Tomorrow, you'll be the happiest people in the world. The company will have my death on. Whoa! Whoa! What? We're gonna be one big family, Mark. <laughs> Whoa! F you, Janet. Oh, hey, you pushed me out of the way. Print in silence. Tranquility awaits. Sorry to have disappointed you, Mom. I'm a coward. What the frick? Oh my gosh, there's so many channels! Whoa! Who pushed me, by the way? Okay, I don't know who that was. Yo! Dead light? Lighters? Dead lighters? Sounds pretty good! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this, oh my gosh. Mind melting music. You should listen. Alright, I think that's it for at least the more choreographed stuff, so. I'm going to check my messages real quick. Okay. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can get a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. Um, we're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Then we got over here. Oh my gosh, we got a whole lot to get through here. Um, OMG, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Uh, oh, this is like our little Mad Friends 3 ever. What the heck? Uh, let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now, a birth announcement that says, the force is strong with this one. Mikey, lol. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know, other than Baxter. Hey, you. He would do you have a car? totally do, you have do that, wait. Do you have a dog? No? Well, you're in luck. Uh huh? Because here at Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership, uh -huh. we have it all. Uh -huh. Buy a dog, and then buy a car for that dog, along with a purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. <laughs> One-year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only $299.99 a year. We offer dirt <laughs> cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor, Dave's Dealership, because we're <laughs> the best. Dogs purchased from our Dave's dealership, dealership are certified pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Note, not all dogs are tested for influenza, and may or may oh. not carry multiple military grade What the frick? But not to worry, they're dirt cheap as well. So come on down to Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get yourself the deal of a lifetime. Are you exhausted wow. and desperately need a break? Is your 9 to 5 stressing you oh, out? Oh, okay, alright, and then that's... Take a vacation okay, right. with rentacabin.com. So we offer thousands of cabins readily where, available where, 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 where and accessible we? with the um, click of a button. 
enjoy amazing views and undisturbed he would totally do that okay this is so cute cabins. all you need is now, love the love the beetles <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? I always thought they were so cute notch. together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met from, at a Beatles tribute. Can I turn this off? Friendly. There we go. Okay. Um. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my butt and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Bah. Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. Oh. And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Sut. 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 Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Syracuse. Syracuse. I don't think I'm saying that right, but whatever. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe. We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'll be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high. I'm sure one of my old contacts could could come through. Dude, this dude's just trying to be a player, man. This Mike guy. I don't know about all that. That actually sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for a week for the weekend. I love it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress, no work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip, but with Mike, lol. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll let I'll let get back after or with you after I think it over. Okay. XOXO. Honestly, I'm uh the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. Uh, Alright, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind. But it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me? Book the cabin? I suppose I could do that. I'm excited. Can I play this? Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really huh? need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. I feel like I know that person. Also, she has like an anime voice. <laughs> Nora, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. Don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes it sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fanciest woman we know. Stop. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going, okay? Dang, that was a lot to read through. Okay, well, I guess we'll turn that back on. Just for the, am uh, the ambiance. Can I do anything else? Oh, choose your drink. Oh, I don't want one right now. Oh, shoot. I guess I got to pick one. Um, I guess we'll just do a red cola. Give me my red cola. Oh, let's go. Okay. Scroll to open it up. There we go. Ah, delicious. Hey there. How's your day going? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Sydney. <laughs> Look, Sydney. Sydney. Uh, we're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. I hope you enjoy your meal. <laughs> what about you? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't want to talk, I guess. Hey, what's up? How you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm pretty hungry. Pizza does smell awfully good. Uh, you here for the pizza? Nah, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can... 
but you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. Yeah, you don't seem creepy at all. Definitely not. Oh, I was done with it. Um. All right. Um. Man, there's too many people I want to talk to. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? Um, we're headed to a cabin in Woodbury. Woodbury, you say? Beautiful place. Used to camp there quite often when I was a younger man. Okay. There's something about being out in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overhead. Uh, those memories just stay with you. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. You come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Okay, well, good for him, man. What else do we got here? What about you guys? Uh, how's the pizza? Pizza's great, actually. I think Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for us. It's our first time in the area. Uh, where are you headed? We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. Uh. We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This this place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you, local or just passing through? Ah, uh, we're head, headed to a rental in Woodbury. Woodbury, huh? We passed a sign for that, didn't we, Chris? Uh, um, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip, and be careful in the snow. Uh, alright, enjoy the pizza. Wow, talk to all the NPCs in the pizzeria. I got a, I got a thing for that. Wait, I didn't talk to him, though. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. <laughs> Just the cheese. <laughs> Just the cheese. Okay. Just the cheese, huh? Okay. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Uh, yes? I- oh. You fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And a veggie. And for you, miss? Uh, he said to go with just the cheese, so I'm gonna go with just the cheese. He seemed to, he seems like a reasonable guy, that one. Look at him. He definitely, uh, he, he seems like he knows something, so I'm gonna say cheese. Alright, what's your second slice? Cheese. The third? Cheese. And drinks for you folks? Uh, that should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Holy, that's crazy for six slices of pizza, huh? Twenty-two fifty. That's crazy. Your order number is twenty-seven. Just grab a seat, and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Okay, where are we gonna sit? Right here. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is something. <laughs> it smells so good in here. <laughs> Long sniff. guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. Oh. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. Huh? But the long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Uh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry, I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Oh no. Frick. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Excuse you? 
Excuse you? Huh. Order number 27, you folks are right here. You better not have meant what I thought you were meaning. You better calm down. I ain't that kind of girl. I was gonna say take me out for dinner first, but I guess this is technically dinner. What the frick? All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Let me try this bad boy. How, how is it, man? How, oh, he's not gonna let me know. Consuming. Consuming. Oh. Oh, dang. This pizza slaps. <laughs> Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb pizza. I know, right? Give me more of that. Mm, oh, mm, mm, yes. Mm, mm. Delicious. Mm, oh, mm, yes. No, actually, I don't. I, no, I was going to say I don't eat the crust, but okay. Well, I guess I do now. Dang, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Uh. I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. Fair enough, but eat, but eat someone else's tires. We've still got a bit of driving to do. Ha 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 ha. So much consuming. Oh, oh, what the frick? Oh. Hey there, my friends. Oh, yeah, you again. Hello there. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck um are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes not at all my friend i just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction i was y'all mind if i hitch a ride with you uh where's your car who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with what the frick Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. That's freaking weird. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh, uh I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sorry. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Heck, I'll ride in the bed. It's, uh, my... Friends, cars, I'm sorry. You gotta be kidding me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Oh, what the frick was that music, huh? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, 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 y'all got me all wrong, sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. Oh, frick, kind of a weirdo. I'm just gonna finish eating this real quick. Mm, mm, yes, mm, mm. Well, that was weird. Weird's a little bit of an understatement. He didn't even order anything. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna stay silent on that. That guy ain't riding with us. What the frick? Is he? He didn't do nothing, right? Yeah, he kept walking. Okay, I was gonna say. Certainly, he's not the weirdo, right? He's not gonna be the one that tries to kill us. That pizza was the perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. <laughs> I can burp! Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that'll make you think twice about trying to put the moves on me now. <laughs> Love, XD, love. Okay, cool. Just gotta act gross, and then he'll be like, Ew, what the frick? Alright, thanks, man. Holy, that was good. Alright, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Huh? Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Um, I'm going to drive so that you can take a break. Uh, uh, Michael? Michael? What the frick? Uh, no, that's alright. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Uh, give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when, or if, we get there. Deal. Take keys. Yeah, let me drive. Let me drive. Truck keys. 
Okay. I thought we were going to that gas station. I guess we didn't this time. Dude, that was Queso for sure. There was no way that wasn't Queso. That sounded exactly like him. That's crazy. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to oh, the oh, oh. on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, yeah. there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So What's the song? The track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, oh, sorry. I was looking see. the other way. Ned and Ultimus. Stay warm and stay tuned. Stay warm and stay tuned. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hey, turn that off. I don't want to hear that no more. Ah, yes, the silence. It helps me see in the snow. What's that? I, I didn't read that. Um. Wait, what did that say? Wait. Is that Woodbury? Woodbury, yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay. Here we go. Watch somebody change the sign or something like that, and it's not actually Woodbury this way. Surely no one will just, like, jump out in front of us, right? What the? Oh, oh, I thought those were, like, spotlights or something. That freaked me out a little bit. Um. Interesting. Hey, 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 watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Jeez, holy crap. Okay. Dude almost hit us right there. Probably started fishtailing in the snow. Well, this is nice. This is quaint. All this. Oh, this looks like the place, right? Is this the place? No, no, not this one. Wait a minute. It's not that one either. Shackled by lust? Jesus sets free. He certainly does. Yeah, baby, let's go. Yeah, 19 for truth or whatever that says. Yeah, Jesus does set you free, brother. Let's go. That's awesome, man. Man, you don't see that no more in games. Woodbury, Vermont. Oh, is this the place? This kind of looks like it. No, that can't be it. Not yet. It looked like a rickety rundown place. Oh, I didn't stop. I drove past our cabin at first. Wait, I did? What? What's the cabin? Am I right? Oh, this was the cabin. Wait a minute. There. Okay, there we go. Come on. There we go. Let's pull in right up here. Ooh. And this should be it. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. Yeah, so did I. I. I thought it looked like the place, but it didn't look quite right to me. Okay. Time to get out. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. I should probably put that up real quick. Hold on. There we go. Hey, I'm coming. Wait for me. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hey there. Alright. What, do you need me to open the door? Oh, right. Door was locked. Had to get the key from the lockbox. Uh, right. Right. Where's the lockbox? Is this the lock? No, wait. Where's the lock? I don't know where the lockbox is. Am I dumb? Am I stupid? You stupid. I think I'm dumb. Where did he say that that was? Lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. By the front door? It's, it's gotta be this, right? No. It's not that. By the front door. What's up with this music? It's not this, right? Oh, it is this. Hold the slide. What the... What the... 
Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Five. Oh. One. Seven. Oops. Six. There we go. Perfect. Ah. Oh, this is nice. Hey, look, it's got a little teddy bear. Isn't that nice? What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the John. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. Uh, okay, what do I do with my own stuff? The house was cozy and well furnished. Enter the cabin. Just set that there, I guess, for now. Can I lock the door behind us? No, I can't. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Well, uh, he said to let him know. Can I let him know? Uh, ba 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 ba. No. Apparently not. We're just not gonna let him know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I... Okay, I gotta do one at a time. Oh, this is quaint. Wow. Yes. Well, this is real quaint. Let's grab that. What's this? These onions? What is this? Oranges, maybe? I'm waiting for, like... Someone would be looking through the window when I turn around. That window, specifically. I don't like it. Eggs. Okay. Quit. I don't like this music. Don't do this to me right now. Best milk. 100% natural. Don't do this to me. Can I just... Oh, no. Nope. I gotta put it in there. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Come on. Be cool. Be cool. Peak farm bell peppers. That's nice. Are we going to be making, like, spaghetti? S some spaghetti would be nice. Um, lettuce. Oh, man, I don't like... I don't like this. It's getting too quiet. I don't like that. Someone's going to knock on the door for the last item. Watch this. They're going to knock on the door. It's going to be like, do, do, do. Watch. Watch me be right. Watch me be right. No? Or maybe I turn around and he'll be there? No? He'll come around the corner. No. Maybe I put it in here, shut the door, and then he's there. Oh! Wait! There we go. Oh, okay, he's done. Hey, Mike. Ew, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Oh, the groceries are all put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Um... Yeah, it's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Sure. He's not gonna do something weird, is he? Mike's probably chill, right? He's probably chill. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. <laughs> Mike blew up the bathroom, what the frick? Man, we have so many P.O. meters. Text Rick, alright. Hi, we've checked in. Is he gonna get back to us right away? There. Ah, flush that, because I'm a lady. Put this toilet seat down, because I'm a lady. Can I look out these? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, I hate that. Whoops. Oh, oh, man, I hate it every time. It's never useful, but I hate it every time. Um, wash my hands real quick. Because we're a lady. Once again. Can I use this? Oh, that was just the sink. My bad. I guess we wash our hands twice. 
Don't be there. Don't be around the corner. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. Oh, hey. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. You feeling better after the drive? Um, I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Sure. Look at this living room. Oh. I got a word puzzle. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Uh, yeah. Because your apartment's an apartment and this is a house, man. Turn on TV. Whoa! Nice. I like having the music. It makes it not feel so bad. It's not so scary anymore. How can you be scared with funky tunes like that? What is this? You can beat me! What do you think this is? A Ouija board? Uh oh, that's not good. Whispers in the dark, tower stack, chess. Uh, mega round. What does that say? Cat. Cat. Catopoly? <laughs> Wait, what's the rest of these? Snakes and ladders. What is that done? Oh, it's Dungeons. Dragon's Labyrinth. That's like a Dungeons and Dragons thing, I think. Oh, and that looks like it's supposed to be Munchkin. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, whoops. My hands were full. Oh, um. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. Okay. Well. Uh, is there anything else I can look at? Is that an Atari? What the heck? Oh, well, that's crazy. Alright, well. Can I. Can you. Can you let me leave? Okay, there, thanks. Apparently you didn't care about that room. Run a little quicker. Bum, bum, bum. I guess we can check out here real quick. What's this? Oh. Look at this backyard. This is crazy. Oh look, we could have like a little bonfire if we wanted. See that? That's cool. We could shoot some hoops. Let me shoot some hoops. Watch this. Uh, oh, it's getting really cold. Yeah, but I want to make a basket. Hold on. Uh, let's freaking go. I used to be a baller back in the day. <laughs> Execute a dunk, Kobe. <laughs> let's freaking go. Um, can I go through here? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, we're going to have to escape through that way at some point. That freaking sucks. I can already feel that coming. What's in here? This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Get close. Oh, frick. Uh, blinded me. Crankbait? Frozen prongs? Maggot bait? Oh, okay. Bait pairing knowledge. Am I gonna need this? Um. Okay. Interesting. Nothing more to really interact with in here, so... Hmm. Okay. That's gotta mean something. Wait, what if I turn the light on? Anything else? He's gonna be like, you looked at my fishing poster, now you have to die! You know which bait goes with what fish! Trigger the owner. He's the killer. Okay. See what else we got. What about the kitchen? Is he going to talk about the kitchen? Now that we're in here? Yeah. Can't wait to cook here later. When did you start cooking? I'm full of surprises. Wink. Ew. Um. Okay. Very cool, very nice. Why, why do you think they have a giant teddy bear? What do you think that's for, huh? What do you think that's for, Mike? Okay, guess we'll check up here. Then. Check this first door. Oh, this is like a little uh, storage room. Okay. Interesting. Oh, flashlight! Hey, look what I found! Smile! <laughs> okay. Me! Oh my gosh! You freaking jerk!
You freaking cross-eyed loon. What are you doing in here, you goon? You scared us. I wasn't ready for that one. Oh my gosh, I did a whole 360. Or 180, whatever. Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Uh, <laughs> you didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you... Never mind. What the frick, bro? Chill. Calm down. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier. And I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Uh, speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. I know. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. He was just chilling up here this whole time while we were here. What the frick? Okay. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Gosh, that freaking... That got me pretty good. I felt it more in my body than I feel like it came out of my voice. Oh, look, Harp. This room has a nice view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. The frick, man? Uh, I don't know about all this. Why are you just here, man? Oh, that's how you get up here. Okay. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. <laughs> uh, I don't like you, Rick. You kinda suck. Hey, shut the door, man. What the frick? Yeah. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot. It's all in here. Yeah, I already helped myself to a flashlight. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. I already got it to my hand. Uh, thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs now. Okay, thanks. I'm just gonna hold on to this flashlight. Just have a feeling I'm gonna need it. Um, alrighty folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. <laughs> you see that knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. Bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay. Oh, downstall, there's a basement. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, frick. How do I... How do I... Uh oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I, dro I dropped a... Wait, I dropped the flashlight. It's... It's... Uh... Oh. I meant to... 
I meant to hit this button. I hit G instead. Um. Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If you ever, if if it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up, and you'll be back in business. What the frick? What is this? Is oh man, I don't know about all this. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Oh, that's where he hides the bodies. Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Uh, okay. Well, I was just curious. Eh, let's move on. Okay. Well, that was... A yeah. Oh! Uh... Did I mention... Well, nah, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from... Well, he told me his mother died down here. Oh, that's where the Ouija board's gonna come in. Ah, oh, frick. Some, some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you... I wouldn't really step down here. Uh, ew. <laughs> right in his lips. Uh. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. Screw you, man. Get out of here, Rick. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around uh, a 6 out of 10. What the frick? Close the... T okay, I was hitting the wrong button. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that dang cat. Thanks for showing us around. <laughs> By the way... What's the name of the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Ew. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and leave, Rick. Is it just me or was that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Uh oh. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. Weird guy. Thanks, seeing you. See, 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 see. Yeah. yeah. All right. Guess I'm taking a shower then. Where was the bath at? Did he say? Oh, you didn't have to start doing that. What the frick? Oh yeah, that's right. It was over here. Can I lock the door? Nope. I sure can't. Um. All right. Well. The shower door was open, yes? Correct? Cor correct? I'm in the sh-, the sh Oh, I have to close the shower door. I got you. With my flashlight. Take a nice clean shower with my flashlight, clean it off while I'm in there. Oh, that's it! That wasn't so bad. Don't freaking creep me out. Okay. All right, Mike, I took a quick shower. I'm coming back downstairs. I hope you're not dead. Oh, what the frick? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fla uh, fishing rod in that shed. I'm <laughs> planning to catch dinner. Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Really? I thought you guys didn't want to go outside. It's freaking cold, I thought. Heck yeah, follow me. Uh, there's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Yeah, but like, it's freaking cold out, man. You even said that. Okay. Inconsistent, man. They don't know what they want. Now you're like super eager to be out here with 
What's your problem, man? Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Um, so grab this one. Oh. Oh, snap! I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yeah, sure. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for a carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Uh, <laughs> let me grab the bait. Uh, okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Maggot bait, no carp. Frozen prongs, no carp. Crank bait, no carp. Sweet. Oh, okay, the, the corn has carp. Oh, and the cheese delight has carp. Uh, uh. Um, uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the cheese. Wait a minute, how do I get out of this? There we go. Let's do the cheese. That's the cheese one? Yeah, give me that. There we go. Oh, look at the little <laughs> cheese icon. Look at it, it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Oh, this goes out here. Oh, this is like a lake. Okay. Oh, I thought this is where we were going to have to run to. I hope those carp are biting today. Uh, yeah, sure, Mom. Okay, here I go. Okay. Whee! Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Uh, that's bluegill. Throw that back. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. You know what? Tired of this. Hold on. I gotta go get the other bait because apparently this one isn't working. Oh. Okay. Gosh. Why are there so many bluegill? I'm literally never catching carp. How is this possible? Come on. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, thank you. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Gosh, apparently not. Because that's the first one I caught. That took for freaking ever. Uh, hey, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Come on. Yes. All right, Harp, looks like we caught three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Uh, let's do it. Uh, oops, I, oh, uh, there we go. I forgot which button it was. Oh, the frick, where's the music changing? Hello? Is there a reason the music's changing? Okay, uh, don't like that. What the frick? Hello? Do you hear that, Mike? What? Okay, I didn't like that, but sure. Uh, drop that. Drop that. That's fine. I don't care. I'm gonna leave him right there. Hey, Mike, why is the music ominous now? Mike? Did you hear that? That change? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Uh, okay, on it. That was a lot of ingredients. Holy. What is this? Okay, that's yogurt. Uh. There. Where's the, uh... Oh, that was pepper. Is that not pe Hello? Is that not pepper? Bell pepper. What the... Wait, what? The. Wait, oh. Hey, wait! I want. Wait, okay. I, I don't. What did you say? Take a bowl. Cooking oil. Oh, okay, I need a bowl first, so. 
Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, here we go. Put that in there. Yogurt, I need... Okay, it gives me a little list. So I need salt. Grab a little salt. Shake, shake, shake. A little pepper. Shake, shake, shake. The whitest marinade we could possibly make. Um... Ginger paste, what the fr where is that at? Wait! Oh wait, is there, is it like up here? Oh yeah, the olive oil is. Okay. And then... What is that, paprika? That's paprika. Italian seasoning. Uh, ginger garlic? Yes. And then that's the Italian seasoning, okay. There we go, very nice. What the frick? Whoa, whoa, chill. Oh my gosh. That scared me. You pushed me into the fridge, man. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Uh, sure. Okay. So. I literally didn't pay attention to what you said. The fish and the marinade and the marinade in the casserole. Okay. So, just... Pop that in there. I have to add the fish first. Oh. Um. Oh no, I got the marinade all over the place. Um. Where are the fish? Am I missing something? What? The fish? The, the fish? The, the. Oh, right here. Two carbs. There we go. Marinade. And. Veggies. Oh. Uh, now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400. Okay. 30 minutes at 400. Oh, okay. I didn't have to set it. It just did it itself. Those carp are going to taste amazing. Actually sounds kind of good. I'm not going to lie. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Yeah, we checked that out earlier. Um, uh, which one? Just grab whatever uh, catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Yeah, thanks for telling me literally again in the very next sentence. Um, okay. Right. Well, he would like this one, right? I could be nice. Wait, where is that one again? Wait, it's gone. The, uh... There was the Star Wars one. Oh, Star, Star Titan Force. You might like Star Titan Force. Um, yeah, we're not touching that. Um, oh, but I really like Jenga. Let's do Jenga. I like Jenga. Hey, I got Jenga. Ah, Tower Stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since, ages since I played this. Uh, totally, it's been a long time for me, too. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. Excuse me. That's a little strange to say. Whenever you're ready, Harp. Okay. Wow, there's like tons of minigames in this one. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's literally Jenga. What the... Wait, so lean... Oh my gosh. This is crazy. So, oh, I have to draw the loop. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting way of being able to see if you can do it. Uh... Oh, boy. Okay. Bro, this feels very much like the tracing jump scare that, that like, really old one where the zombie jumps out at you. I swear if they do that to me, I'm gonna freaking lose it. You're making it look a, a, like a child's play. Oh. I've really outdone myself here. Alright, man. Calm down. Uh, I say... Let's try this one. This one seems good. Oh, yeah. See, that's an easy one right there. Yeah, that's no problem. There we go. Let's 
trace that all the way down. Boop! Yay! Dang, Harp, do you practice this in your free time? No, I'm just freaking good, man. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess I'll just keep pulling these center ones. Yeah, these are easy enough. That star one was a little harder. I wonder if he had to, like, test. You're making this game look effortless. I wonder if, if like, when he was making this particular minigame, if he had to, like, know which ones were actually, like, looser on a typical, like, Jenga tower. I'm on a roll here. Oh, wait, what, what the frick? Why do you get to go again? Oh, what an idiot. Ah, ha, ha, what a loser. <laughs> oh, snap, didn't expect it to fall like that. Are you ready for another round? Um, I think that's enough for today, honestly. I mean, I, I already beat you, so... Do you want to play another game? There's probably other games. That was a fun game, Harp. You did really well. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Okay, I kind of wanted to play another game, to be honest with you. I just, I just didn't want to play Jenga again, but that's fine. Um, I see it. Ooh, kind of looks good, man. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Uh, sure. Yo, I had to grab a plate. Um, yeah. We should have marinated it for, like, longer, though. I'm, certain, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to, like, be looking out the window and someone's going to be there, right? I'm Jeffrey. Oh. And today oh, we cooking Jeffrey again. Ew. Asparagus chocolate cake Gross. with a spoonful of mayonnaise. Why? This delicacy is very popular in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. <laughs> so first, I hate this. we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with Car? a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bone. After okay. letting these simmer Man, this the actually sounds really good. Bath, I, fish sounds really good right now. We can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Cocoa uh, beans. Yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended. Ew, ew, into why? The he salt looked at his lips. What the? With a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. I'm the done next with this. thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. Harp, that was some we dang fine food. Twice as good since we caught the Irish fish ourselves. Tofu. Uh, sure, it was really lie. good. It sounds really good right now. This is gonna taste we make like a great shit. team, Harp. You gotta freaking but chill, man. You're kind of weird. You are. Hey, anyways. Listening to my I need to check my emails real quick. This Left my laptop upstairs. The I thought we were taking a break we, from we it. With it's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment sure details for my new DS. Us. DS? Very oh, is this like the 2000s? <laughs> I'll be right back. All the ingredients uh, together in a tray. All right, I'll clean up here. Okay, sure. while that's um, cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Oh. Gasoline soaked ramen. Gasoline soaked now, this ramen. This is extremely hard to make. A dish oh, I don't like this. I'm going to be like looking out the window and someone's going to be there. A lot of Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. The water's going through the plate. They're magic plates. Or it's magic water. One of the two. This place is haunted. Okay. Uh, okay. It's fine. What, what else am I cleaning up? The, the board game, maybe? Oh. Michael. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What the frick? Oh, he's gonna try to scare us, isn't he? Oh, I don't like this. No, he's gonna try to scare us. I hate you. Don't do this. Oh, I forgot where that was. Um. Uh. Don't make a sound.
Whoa. Oh, good. Gotcha! I knew he was trying to scare us. Oh, I, I held my breath and he didn't jump out in front of us, so we're fine. You're lucky I didn't break your nose. That, that wasn't all that scary. That was alright. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round. How about a game of hide and seek? Uh, I'll get you back for this, I guess. That's weird, hide and seek. We're like freaking, what, 20 year olds? <laughs> Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Oh, man, luckily I, I didn't. Shoot, I got freaking. I, I decided to hide in the basement. Why did I decide to hide in the basement? That's freaking dumb. Gotta hurry. Wow, I hate this. Where? I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Oh, huh? aha, gotcha. Dang. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. What? That's... Uh, that's weird. We're, we're just gonna say that. Uh... Alright, my turn to hide now. <laughs> you better close your eyes and start counting. Jeez, gosh. How do I close my eyes? Oh, space. I hate this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to do this. He's going to jump out at me again. Or he's going to be dead. Okay, he went upstairs. Pretty sure. Okay, there's a few places he could have went. Ew, what? Hey, you! Do you have a car? Do you have insurance? No. Do you have a dog? No? Well, you're in luck. Because here at Larry's I think he went upstairs. Oh, I hate this. We have it all. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate this, I hate this. I don't want to look for something, I'd rather be the one hiding. Oh, you think you went out in the shed? Oh crap, I gotta sneeze. Oh, the light's on. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, well, he's not here. Gosh, he's probably up there. I don't want to go upstairs. This sucks. Oh, this is closed. It's got to be in here. Don't freaking jump out again. Last time you didn't scare me, that's why you got off with a warning. <gasps> oh! That's... Okay, good. Got you! Holy... 
Hang on, harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. What? Yeah. Are you going to check it out? What the fr- You're- Why don't you go? You're the man! I think, uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us really should look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? <laughs> Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. If he freaking touches me, man. I hate this. Okay, show me all the hiding places. Um. Where's the step stool? What? Where? Uh. Wait, am I not. Am I dumb? What did you say? Wait. Step stool behind you and climb up. Behind me where? Where is this behind? Oh. I see. I didn't see that. Uh, place it right there. Oops. I just stand on top of it. Okay. There we go. Mm. Oh, I'm just up here now. Oh, I'm going to have to hide up here. Oh, I wish I had the flashlight. Why did I not bring the flashlight? Oh! It's a cat. Kitty. Hi. You scared me a little bit. You're kind of cute. Hi. Okay. Please don't jump out at me. Are you gonna come with me? Okay, you go first. <laughs> Let the kitty go first. Go. Go. Go, kitty, go. Oh, there's a light. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. Cool. Hey, yo, Mike. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. Uh, I was worried they were there for a minute. Uh, I think she was hungry. Oh yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, I don't want to... Tool shed in the backyard? Oh, Okay. That is where I thought he would be hiding. I hate this. Why are we just leaving the cat up there? Oh, frick. I'm gonna eventually run into something. thing actually came in handy for once. Bro, am I gonna watch someone enter the house? Oh, yep. It doesn't say I have to be quiet, so... Where's he going? <gasps> oh, frick! There was someone in the house! I knew it! I saw them move. Oh my gosh. They ran. Hi! Aha, there you are. I saw somebody. Dang, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Dude, what the? 
I'm getting tired, yo. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. No, there's someone in there. Mm. I don't like this. He's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead. I don't wanna go in there. And Well, do I just move? Like, what do I do? Do I, it's not letting me count. Did I say where I was gonna hide or? Oh, I just had to hit the button. I thought it would give me a prompt. Okay. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. He's gonna scream. Five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in here. Okay, so wait. So there was the the room upstairs, in that closet where I can hide, and then there was under the. The stairwell. Okay. Mike? Scared me. TV scared me. Michael? Please don't tell me he went upstairs. That dude ran that way. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Please don't be downstairs. He ran this way. Where did Michael go? I don't know if I want to go upstairs. There was someone in here. I don't want to... I don't want to go up here. You suck. Surely he didn't go back to the same exact spot. Um. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Couldn't possibly have went there. Okay, he's not there. Surely he didn't... Bro, there's no way. don't want to check that. I don't know what to do. I don't know which one's the right place to go. Alright, we're going to the noise. That makes the most sense. I hate this. I'm gonna die. I don't want to do this. No, you better freaking watch yourself, man. Because he's not in there. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh! Oh! What's going on? What happened? Okay, so it was the- okay, I just- I thought- okay. Well, hey there. Uh, Rick, why are you back? Uh, yeah. I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Oh, you should have told us. I think he did, actually. Or maybe he didn't. I can't remember. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. Um... How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it's not really cool to just walk in without telling us what's up, man. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Hehehehe. <laughs> uh. 
You think you could maybe fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? Kind of. We rented this place. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Holy! Yeah, let him... All right, let him handle this, man. All right, Mike being the man? Let's go. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think you're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Get the frick out of here. He's probably chill, right? Like, he's probably chill. Oh, look, he's seeing him out. Okay, Mike's kind of the man. Alright, Mike. That was kind of cool of you, Mike. Wow, what a guy. Oh, okay. Alright. Everything went dark. It's gonna be like nine. Oh, I hate this. Oh, yeah. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. That's not smart. <laughs> we attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. That's how people die in horror movies, with that kind of logic right there. Look, we already drove all the way here. Uh, let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. I mean, that's at least reasonable. I could understand someone doing that because it's like, well, I mean, that's weird, but I don't want to waste the money, you know. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. I, gosh, this red flags everywhere. 11.39 p.m. Okay. So I can just get up? Should I just get up? Is this a dream? Oh, hello? What the frick? Yep. Yes? Can I ask who's there? Hello? Oh, hey. Harp? Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Uh, sure. What, is he gonna confess? He's gonna be like, look, I always loved you. What? What do you want? What do you want, Mike? Michael? Michael! Mike? Can I help you, Michael? Mike? Michael? What do you- What do you want? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. Um, I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Dude, is Mike the creep? Is he the crazy one? I was feeling that from the beginning, but I thought maybe that was just a red herring. Because it was too easy, you know? Too obvious? Um. What? Yeah, I think that's a what. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Oh, okay, your neck kind of just... Okay. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Uh, I mean, he does own the place, but yeah, I wish you would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. Oh my gosh, dude. Is, is, is freaking, what was his name? What was his name, Rick? Is Rick gonna save us? Is Rick gonna be like a cool guy to save us or whatever? Is that the, is he just a red herring? Um... I mean, I am a little freaked out. 
Oh, don't do this to me. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? What the frick? You? What? What? Oh. Harp. You know? Uh. I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. What if he killed Nora or something? I know he couldn't have because she sent us a message, right? So, like a voice message. Uh. Uh. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Are you see? Okay. Um. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Uh. I don't like this. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Oh no! I don't like this. This is so freaking creepy. I do remember it really well. Oh yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. What? Um, wait. Um, SOS please? Wait, she needs help. Uh, 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 uh Mike, I don't know what to say. You just tell me, uh, or you just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Like, I don't think this is a good time. Nora is dying right now, maybe. What happened? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, uh. and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says... Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Oh, frick. Oh, no. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Uh, let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. Uh, no, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pa pajama. Oh, you're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. Oh, that means we're going to be alone. That's really nice, Mike. Uh, I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Still be nice to him, I mean, he's being a little weird, but... <laughs> we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just not gonna say nothing. Oh, I don't like this. Well, that scared me. I just wanted to see him leave. Is that that? Because that's our truck, right? He said? Yeah. Except I didn't pull it in right there. I pulled it up over there. Is he going to leave? Um. I, I guess I got to go back to bed, huh? I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Oh, I hate this. He just left it open. What the? Huh? Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Oh, I shut the door. Oh, I was supposed to follow him. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I guess we're talking through the door then. Um. Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Uh, look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. <laughs> you sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, 
Just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Are you free? Okay. Oh, through the door. There we go. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Yeah, I mean, she hugged him before, right? So that's fine. He's just... He just likes her, that's all. How do, do I lock the door? How do I... Oh. There he goes. It was freezing cold outside. I was keen on getting something. Can I not lock the door? I was keen on what? Getting some sleep, I think she said. Wow, hate this, hate this, hate this, don't want to do this. Hate this. Hate this, hate this, hate this, don't like it at all. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. So, like, an hour later, basically. Huh? Hello? Oh, no. It's almost at the front door. Chill, chill. Um... Huh? I saw you there, my friend. Huh? Please open the door, I'm freezing to death out here. No. Literally no. Actually no. I don't want to. Um... No. No. Can I just hide? Do, do I have to open it? I don't want to. Um. Um. Oh, the realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. I don't know who that is. I don't want to know. Um. I don't... Can I not open the door? Okay. Alright. Okay. I didn't know what that was going to do. Uh, do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Um... Uh, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in, end of story. Uh -huh. Are you freaking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? Uh, I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Also, I'm a lady. I'm a woman. I'm a, I'm a lady. Leave me alone. I should have known you'd be as big a witch here as you were back at the pizza joint. Oh, it is him. He did come back. Oh, no. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time but looks like you're still unkind just leave her I'll call the cops ain't no cops around here speaking of I don't see your fella's truck out here either I'm dialing 911 now fine <sighs> suit yourself <sighs> okay Is he gonna bust down the door? He can't get up here, can he? 
But let me tell you something. Oh, he's still down there. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a witch, my friend. What does he mean? The man at the door seemed uh, irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Are you kidding? I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. After that? No? What the frick? What are you talking about, woman? You don't sleep after that. You don't sleep after that. Oh, you're insane. You're actually crazy. You're actually crazy. Oh my gosh. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're tweaking. You're tweaking. Tweaking. Uh. Oh. What the frick? What was that? At this point, I had... Um... Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, uh, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down there. Uh, he was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside my house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Is he in the attic? I think he hurt himself. Or is that snow? Um. Hello? The frick? Sh should I? I don't want to do that. Oh, oh. Oh no. Frick. I don't wanna. No, don't open the door. What the frick? Open the door, miss. It's me. Okay. Hey! Okay, okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, hey, Rick, what's up? What the heck's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Uh, uh, yeah. I came as quickly as I could. Uh, I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did he kill him? Uh, oh, uh, what does that mean? Rick? Rick! Rick! By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Um... He should be back soon! Hmm... So you're all alone here right now, huh? Uh, yeah, but my friends will be back soon! He's got a hammer, I think. Doesn't he? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Hello? I... Oh. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Uh, not all of them know when to stay away. What the... F Did he... Oh. Oh! Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington! I haven't been to the rental in weeks! Everything okay, miss? Yeah! Holy crap, it is him! Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. Uh, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. 
You sure about that? Uh, yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. Uh, oh, Rick. Who are you? What did you just say? <laughs> is he gonna kill me? <laughs> this is my freaking house. I will leave when I want to. Um, what do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. Oh, frick. Uh, there's no cops. I can't say that. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Oh! Oh, freak! What is he doing? Shut up! Oh! 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 I didn't know that. Oh my gosh! I thought, okay, I guess I needed to run. I didn't realize he was gonna do that. What the frick? Okay. Oh, I don't have the flashlight now. Oh crap! Hey, you need to leave. If anyone's leaving this house. It will be one of us, okay. Let me out! Oh, he moved the door! No! 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 no. Oh, Frank! Nora screwed me! I can't believe she screwed me over! I was like, oh shoot, I should get the thing. Because I should hide in the attic. Yeah, that's what I should do. Okay, hold on.
be quiet, do I? I don't think so. Um, I don't know what the right thing to do here is. Do I flick the light on and off? Do I go back down? I don't want to go back down. I don't want to go back down. Do I go back down? Nope. I thought maybe that would be like a What is this music? Oh, hey, holy frick! Hey! Is that it? What happened to him? What happened to, what happened to the fake Rick? I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. Robbing you? I don't know about all that. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me, what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. Wow. That's crazy. Survived through the fifth episode. Wow. Holy crap, wait, okay, so wait, I want to see, was I right, was that Queso? It was Queso! And Lily Pichu was Nora, I thought that was Lily Pichu, but I didn't call it out, Berlizzi was, yeah, okay. I thought that sounded like Lily, but I was like, I was like, I can't quite tell, I'm like, that voice seems super high-pitched, I, I almost thought it was, but I didn't call it out. Oh, that's crazy, but I knew that was Queso. That's crazy, holy crap! Wow, that's cool that he got all those different people. Oh my gosh. No way. A game by Rail Studios. Now it's studios, huh? Wow. <laughs> Dude, but what, we never went in that room that he told us not to go into. I wonder what would have been in there if I would have... I wonder if he was chilling in there. Thank you for playing Fears to Fathom. Wait, what do you mean?! Is that really it? Because it only said there was five episodes. Wait. Is that really it? Is that really it? No, but he still says you can send stuff to him. Oh, man. Okay, wait. Um. Okay, hold on. So, man, that's crazy that he got Queso and uh, Lily Pichu. I wonder, I wonder when he got them to do this, because that's crazy. Wait, so I wanted to see what what the, the inside of that place looked like. Wait, so not welcome to Woodbury, not fishing, probably. Um, maybe it'd be in hide-and-seek. Let's try doing hide-and-seek and then see if I open that door, see what happens. Right? 
I decided to hide in the basement. Okay, yeah, I wanted to see real quick. So if I... Oh, that door can't be opened. Like, at all? Oh. Okay, so I guess that was it. Wow. Man. Ah, oh, so it's over now. So the thing is, though, is because this still exists down here, right? So, like... Will he do more? Will he do, like, another batch? Like, Fierce to Fathom 2, another batch of five episodes? Or is this, like, it? Because, man, these were so fun. I always loved playing these. I do gotta say, this is probably my least favorite of all of them. Uh, only because I felt like it was more focused on the, like, production value in, like, mini games than it was the actual horror elements. Um, it, it was fairly predictable, even though I still wasn't, like, quite sure if it was Rick. That seemed, like, a little bit too easy, but then it ended up being him. I thought maybe the twist was gonna be that Mike was actually psycho or whatever. Um, but, like, yeah, like, the other ones focused more on, on, like, the horror-type stuff. And I would have to say the second episode was probably my favorite. Probably? Uh, between that one and probably the third one. Followed by the fourth one, followed by the first one, and then this one's probably my least favorite. Um, and that's, again, just because I felt like the horror elements were kind of predictable to some degree. Like, especially the jump scares, I was able to predict most of them, and they didn't always get me, like, when he scared me. Um, when Mike tried to scare me, I'm like, I think he's gonna try to scare me, so I just kind of ran in going, eee! And it kind of protected me from getting jump scared. Um, although the one with Rick, that first one with Rick where he jumped out at me, that one did kind of get me with that one, so I will say that one was pretty good. But I still kind of knew it was gonna be there, and yet it still got me. That kind of, that kind of sucked, but... I mean, as a story, though, I mean, aside from, like, the, the scary elements not being quite as strong as the other ones, uh, as the other episodes, this being, like, again, assuming this is a real story because it's, you know, they send their stories in and, and you know, assuming someone didn't just make it up and, and whatever, that's kind of crazy that you had to deal with some dude just coming. Like, I don't get, though, like, if this, if this really did happen like this, it's like, wait, would some dude just, like, helped himself help uh, helped himself into your your rental home why was that not your first instinct to be like all right we got to get the heck out of here dude because like what the heck Who, what kind of owner just says like this is my house i can come in here if i want to without like asking when you're running from me like huh that's crazy types of thinking right there man oh uh, yeah but i mean i like the mini games and stuff too those were fun the board games and the um and the fishing and, and whatnot. And then, of course, the same stuff like cooking food. That seems to be, like, a reoccurring theme in a lot of these games. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, overall, like, I like some of the different direction that he was trying to do with it. But I feel like these are at their strongest when they're really focused on strictly the horror elements and, like, surprising you and stuff. Because, like, the second and third game, there were different mistakes you could have made. That, like, if you would have made them, then you would have died early, right? Like, like peeking around the corner with the girl in the third one, that was scary because that really, really super got me in that particular episode because I was not expecting her to just be there. It would have been cool if there were more moments like that in this because I didn't, like, even going back and checking some of those things, like, I thought maybe if I opened that door that I was told not to open, then, you know, I would get jump scared or something like that like he'd be in there waiting for me um maybe he decided not to do that because you know then it tells you who the actual killer is i don't know but um i kind of missed some of those elements because it gave it this sense of like oh no what's well, gonna be around the corner am I, am I gonna do the right thing or not and so on and so forth so um yeah it's probably between the second and third episode for me that that's my favorite but i'd probably give the edge to the second episode only because well see but i liked the computer stuff on the third episode i don't know i i got two really good jump scares in both of those so um or between both of those so i mean oh, man maybe i would say the third one it's the second or third though i don't know i i'm not entirely sure i just, I, I really liked the motel thing, and then, but then the house sitting one, or whatever it was, the, the, yeah, I think we were house sitting with that one, because there was the dog and whatnot, um, that was really cool too, and then the twist of it being the girlfriend and whatnot, so, anyway, 
Um, yeah, so I just, yeah, I really liked this series. I just, I think it was a lot of fun. I really looked forward to them when they were being, you know, like, like waiting for them to be released. So I really, really hope he, com you know, continues doing this series. Like, because I'm sure tons of people send him all kinds of stories. So, like, you know, man, ah. Uh, this was great. This was so fun. But yeah, I guess let me know like what your favorite uh, episode of Fears to Fathom was out of all of them, um, and what and and maybe put it, what order you liked them in from like your 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 favorite to your least favorite. Tier them for me. I'd I'd like to see that in the comments. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you ruffians in the next video. God bless and peace.